Welcome back to another episode of Collecting on a Budget. And as always, I'm Calvin Statue Fanatic. And this is a show where I show you some really, really cool collectibles that you can collect and not break the bank. Today we'll be taking a look at the Punisher. This is a Diamond Select Gallery figure uh, based on the Netflix original show, a show that I think is absolutely fantastic. I think they knocked it out of the park. They're going to do a season two and Daredevil and Punisher have by far been the breakaway hits from the uh, Netflix Marvel Universe. Now let's take a look at the box. Uh, I like the box. It's pretty cool. I'm not a big fan of unboxing, but there's a lot of graphics and details on the box. Gives a, a brief um, history of the character here and a picture of him. In fact, this picture looks a lot like the uh, the character on TV, so that's pretty cool. It has the standard gallery three window on the uh, uh, see-through and the top where you can see through as well on the top of it. Other than that, not a whole lot else to talk about the box. Not a huge fan of unboxings, but I am going to unbox this guy right here on camera and let's see what we get here. <music> This is pretty much a diorama, actually. It's not just the statue of Mark Castle, but looking at it, <laughs> these things always impress me because they're, they are very inexpensive pieces, and this is a really cool piece. Now, a lot going on here. Um, the likeness of the actor is really cool, too, and I can't think of his name right now, so bear with me. You'll probably see a little pop-up when I go back and edit this. But this looks really cool. I mean, it's pretty freaking awesome. So you got him. Uh, I'm trying to think of a scene in season one where this happened. I mean, it happened a lot, but I don't necessarily remember this exact scene. I'll go back and maybe watch a couple episodes. But this looks cool, man. There's this explosion going on. It looks like the smoke or something. I'm not sure what that is. This resin here from the wall. But you got this brick wall here with a ton of detail in the brick wall. You've got him firing two weapons. Uh, in this pose here, it looks like he's shooting at two people at once. And then here you've got this sledgehammer. And if you watch the series, you remember uh, that was a big deal, uh, the sledgehammer and what his job was in the, the uh, first season. Uh, on the back of it, a lot of detail on the back as well. I mean, this guy looks really, really cool. I'm going to pick him up here. Pretty substantial. And as I said, when I do these, I also want to make sure that it's just not something to buy because it's cheap, but it's actually... It displays well, looks good. Like this guy looks really good. You can see the bullets firing out of the gun, the smoke coming out of here. That's what that is. You can see the smoke actually coming off of the weapon. That is freaking cool. Check that out. That's awesome. And I want to put this really close and I'll probably put some pictures too. But for right now, I'm going to put this really close to the uh, camera. Look at the likeness of this guy to the character. Uh, looks pretty cool. And then the sculpting on this is just awesome. Um, he has all of the armor on and he has the ammo uh, belts on. If you're a Punisher fan and you want something, I don't know, maybe put on your desk at, at your office or you just collect pieces. Uh, this is a nine inch piece. It's pretty freaking cool. And I would highly recommend it if you're a Punisher fan. It looks good on the back of here. You've got this rock here that looks cool. Um, and then all of the detail on the back of the, uh, the brick wall, lots and lots of detail. As you can see from the pictures, man, this guy looks great. Another hit for uh, Diamond Select, this guy retails for about $45. That's right, $45. I tell you, man, if these were the quality that, you know, were if this was the quality that was out there when I first started collecting pieces like this back in the McFarland days, I don't know if I ever would have collected actual real statues because these are so good. I've only had one or two that I've seen that I chose not to review because uh, I think it was a one-off for just what I got, but I didn't want to review it because on this show, I really want to bring things that I would actually own myself, not something just to see if it's, it's cool or not. I just, I really want you guys to, to um, see things that are really good. And this is one of those pieces that does not disappoint at all. The texture on his uh, pants, the wrinkles, all of that looks good. The boots with the shoestrings looks fantastic on here. 
the smoke elements here look great. Like I said before, the emblem of, of uh, Punisher on his, the way that it's painted on his chest looks great. Uh, the buckles holding his bulletproof, his bulletproof vest looks really cool. Detail even in the weapon itself, hair, the blood on his face. This guy looks great, and this is a really great piece. So if you want to pick it up, big thumbs up, man. Pick this guy up, display him proudly. Well, that concludes this episode of Collecting on a Budget. Got some really cool things coming up this week. I'm going to have some fun with some uh, pieces that I picked up. Can't wait to do that. And uh, make sure you guys stay tuned to mcecentral.com where we are working really hard to bring some quality content to you guys. Uh, George has been working like a madman over there. Great job, Seth, with what's popping. Uh, the people are loving it, man. It's pretty awesome. So make sure you check that out. Check out our community page on YouTube, our YouTube page, Instagram, Facebook. Make sure you um, like, subscribe, all that great stuff. And um, until next time, keep it marvelous.